full gas, good maintenance. So get out there and mow. And I'll put the uh, arms high. So as soon as I've mulched these two fields, I must remember to turn that back into a mower. like it's mulching so we'll leave him to it and uh, well look at that you're done too what timing so I didn't quite get three full loads uh, however not want not. We'll grab that bit. Okay, now the field is done. So 16, 22, maybe 24,000 litres of canola. That's not shabby. It's, I mean, it's not a big income when all said and done. Probably about £20,000 at best price. Alrighty. Fold. Did I park the Land Rover? Over there. this round the side of the Land Rover without hitting it. Well, I could put it in the big shed now. Actually, better still. This is the end of the... Uh, well, I might do more um, harvesting contracts on this, but maybe not this much. As usual, I can always do at least one day a month of, at most, sorry, one day a month of uh, of uh, contract work. So I might do some contract work in this. And if I do, I might look at, oops, doing some grain contracts so that we can make more flour. Try and push our flour, excess flour production up to 100,000 for, uh, for the grain mill production or for the bakery. And then I could um, increase the uh, bakery uh, production. Go for a level two bakery. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's see how far we can get. Okay, hopefully that cleaned it all. <coughs> because 
that's how uh, high pressure hoses work. Come on, go. Okay, wait for the keyboard to uh, realize I'm pushing buttons. There we go. Mm, it's a little bit cleaner. Well, it's better than nothing. Let's jump back in here. Uh, 23, 6. It's, it's not 24, but hey. <laughs> I see. So JD's done with the haulage for now. Canola best sale prices in November, so we will figure that out a couple of months' time. I must remember to do it though. And then, uh, how's that looking? Uh, back a bit more. There we go. And again, I'm pretty much set on tipping from the grain doors so that uh, the tip angle on the trailer isn't too excessive. I wonder if I reverse back further if the... No, nope, that just looks a little bit silly. Still. What work do I need done by the John Deere for now? Nothing. Okay. It... Is there anything in this yard that needs to transfer? No. Really don't have much of anything in this yard right now. Oh, we got the cedar, but so it's seeding probably September two, just because eh, we might get it done before tonight. But uh, I mean, the more we get done today, the more I can think about maybe doing contracting the next day. Yeah, that's a good. A little bit close to the uh, the support on the left there. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to run the John Deere over to the other yard. I might hitch it up to the. Uh, the slurry spreader. Oh, now one advantage we do have. So, in Farm Sim 17, you could load up a slurry tank with any place that had slurry or digestate. So, if the BGA had a, an excess of digestate, you could set the worker to refill from the BGA. You can set the worker to refill from your cow and pig pens. In 19, they changed it so that you could only, you couldn't refill digestate into a slurry spreader, which was annoying. What I haven't checked here is if that is still true in Farm Sim 22. However, it might not be important because, okay, I have to remember to lift up the thing on the back. There we go. Because you can only detach this thing from a tractor if the uh, injector is lying on the ground, which is a little bit annoying. Reverse this over here. This is actually an ideal tractor to be using on this. It's probably a little bit big, but it's definitely not going to struggle. But what I was talking about was can we set that up to do an auto refill, which is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do that. Is it that wrong? Heard gameplay animals date no. 
that one. Uh, harvesters. Ooh, what's that thing at the bottom? Help window was active now. See that one. Probably this one. AI worker refill seeds. Um, often buy. Fuel is up by and off. Fertilizer is by and off. Slurry from the pigsty. From the cow barn. Both of which we own. Or buy. Or off. I don't own the BGA, so I'm not sure if the BGA becomes an option for digestate. But that says slurry, and so potentially you can't. And then I've got many manure heap extensions. So what I can do is set the slurry to cow barn with feeding robot put the uh, tractor out in the field and it will automatically drain from that as with the worker so we don't have to look after the slurry spreading if I don't particularly want to um, I'm gonna load that full okay there you go um, okay mulcher is doing the mulchy mulchy thing and with the uh, the loader arms at full extent um, this does actually um, generally not hit the hedges at the end of the field so if we look at this field now it's currently doing 51 It's stopping being harvested. Next screen. Um, needs rolling. Turn that off. So this field has been mulched. This was mulched. This was mulched. I haven't mulched that one yet. Huh. Should probably come back to this field and mulch it. And then this one needs mulching. Okay. It's a good thing. Oh yes, I started, I, I forgot to change it to mow, and so I mulched the beginning of that field, so I lost a little bit of whole crop silage, but yeah, it, it is what it is. So we've got three fields to mulch, that's good. Um, as I said, we might get a roller towards the end of the month. Carl's. 47,000. I'm going to leave that for a little bit. We don't have a loan. That's good. Oh, <laughs> this is sad. So, uh, our Deutz is, uh, yes, Kubota XTS 446. Is that the sprayer? Uh, 7M. That's the loader arms on the Deutz, and I think that's, I don't know, man, that might be the stone bucket, but, oh, it could be the low loader. But yeah, for, look at the time on those. Uh, JCB Teletruck, <laughs> seven, seven months, 71 months, 66 months. Roland LSP. Oh, that's the that's the flatbed trailer that we might be using a little bit more frequently because uh, it is hours on target. Uh, Two hundred seventy-five. Don't know what the STC forty two forty is. Uh, that's got one hundred thirty-four eighty-four on the loader arms. The Massey has sixty-two. And then maintenance schedule. Uh, that's oh, that's the tree planter, and I have a tele truck that could use a service at some point. And for that, I can take the uh, the servicing trailer out. And good grief, that's uh, <coughs> a lot 
lots and lots of yes okay so I kind of I'm, I'm gonna let this track to get to the end and then uh, then I'll start liming and I'll do the liming uh, but uh, could start it now I guess it's a big bit of field over there okay we'll do that and whoops it's that button oh hello why is that down and I need that on no values detected auto okay that's good I'm going to line that up there and then turn it off. And auto width. A and heading. Set A, zero degrees. Back out. Turn on the doodad and let's go. Actually, that's quite a good guess on the left hand edge of this. And again, the line's going down quite quickly here. But it was good enough when we did the when we harvested the field. So we have an environmental score of 100, and this will maintain that level. Uh, we're planning. I don't remember what the uh, the nitrogen requirements for barley is so I'm probably going to head for about a value of a hundred well yes a hundred on nitrogen um, I think we could go up to 180 200 for canola but I'm kind of thinking round about 100 should be reasonable um, so that when we come to spray the crop after it's germinated um, we will still have a very low usage on that anyway 88% two rows I'm not sure how fast is the, uh, is the little dude doing he's doing 22 kilometers an hour we're doing 18 so we've got a better working width he's got a faster speed so I don't think we're gonna catch him what I'll end up doing here is I'll just swing around at the ends and then we'll uh, we'll have to do the end headland just to fill in all the bits oh that is so not what I want to happen anyway Definitely getting a good pH level here. Has he got stuck on a post or is he going? He's going the other way, that's good. I do know one thing. I need to... So my current channel picture um, on Twitch and YouTube are of a farm sim 19 class axion 940 I think hauling a um, hauling a cedar um, and I believe that in the bigger picture it's just a cropped picture but in the bigger picture there's the uh, the challenger um, doing some uh, cultivating unfortunately when the PC crashed I lost all of those pictures plus their farm sim 17 it might be time to look for a, uh, a new picture um, with yeah with the graphics capabilities of farm sim 22 this looks 
a lot more. It's a lot better image. It's just deciding which tractor to do it with. I mean, I'd like to do it with the Deutz with the, the JD doing something in the background, but uh, yeah. I will, pro as a, yeah, that's basically a prelude to me saying I will probably change my uh, my channel um, thumbnail at some point, not thumbnail. Profile picture at some point. Because I'd like to be consistent across the board and obviously if I want to set up a Twitch channel I want my image there and if I decide to set up a Facebook channel I want my image there and I can't do that if I don't have the image available. I could download it from YouTube or Twitch but I'm not sure the picture quality will be the greatest. So, uh, yeah. I guess I've caught up. I guess my working width is big enough. I'll run down here. I'll do these bits. Oops. And I think I probably got sufficient width now to go back the other way. Ooh. That's very close. Um, no, that looks like he's not quite another another up and down and he'll be sufficiently in position for us to run down that line and then I'll do the end like I just did this end and it looks like we're close to just having a single pass along the top but the mulch is oh, the mulcher stuck on a, a thing That's a little bit annoying. As I've said before, this isn't the easiest of implements to reverse because it's a very short wheelbase. I'm going to do my best to get this lined up again. So long as we're close, that's fine. Off you go. Now, the only worry, of course, is at the other end of the field, he may take a left turn instead of a right turn. And if that happens, I'm going to have to take over again. Probably put him on the top edge. We can run down and back again. That's not a problem. should probably sit in the Massey Ferguson just in case he decides to do that. But then if we do buy that field at the top end I'll just merge it into one huge grass field which means we won't have a fence between here and there getting in the way. Turn right. Ooh. Yes, he's turning right. That's a good thing. Okay, so we are back in here. Um, I need to uh, gauge the. Uh, the I was going to say solar panels. No, uh, the satellite doodad. So I can run down here, we'll do the the end, and then I'll let the Massey Ferguson finish. I could probably then bring the JD out with the manure 
spreader and just get that started. Of course with the John Deere I don't care how long that one takes. Um, we're not doing the second field I'm planning to do with mulching and liming. Uh, we're not going to be spreading manure on it so that's a fine deal. Oh, and here comes the Massey Ferguson catching up. Go faster, go faster. We'll take a dive to the right. This is where I said it, it's struggling a little bit. And, ooh, is that the last row of marching? Or does he have another one to do? Uh, he has another pass. Actually, you know what that looks like. That looks like uh, exactly the width I need it to be. So, yeah. Massey Ferguson has to come back the other way and mulch the last piece which the lime doesn't reach. Of course, he might not turn around. He might just say he's done. No, he's going for it. Nice. So that will be the perfect lime on this field. What's the next thing we have to do? We just have to plant this. No, manure then planting. Okay. But with the size of cedar we have, I can use any tractor for that. And now we just head down the end. You're always mulching the grass on the end. How sad. So we actually managed to do the entirety of this field on mm, probably about 75% of this uh, spreader capacity. I think that's not, not a bad result. In the other two fields we may or may not have issues with, but... Um, I think I'll take this down to the yard, get it re get it topped off. Well, use up the two pallets that we have in the yard. And then I need to get the, the mulcher over there to the next field. Uh, probably going to take a very, very quick break. the same time. Did I miss a bit of that field? That would be sad. Okay, uh, GPS off. We'll hook this up over here. Phil, Now this is not going to be anywhere near enough to do the next field. And 
and the Massey Ferguson is the next one to the right. Oh. The worker went home and turned the tractor off. Okay, so one mulched and limed field. That's a good start to the day. Well, actually, nine o'clock already. We've already harvested this field. 